Welcome to my flight from Salt Lake City to JFK with a dog. I made a decision to bring my dog on this trip at like the last moment, like literally last night. And then I had to get everything arranged for that this morning. I don't recommend it, but this is what it looks like flying with a dog in the cabin on Delta. I had to go buy all this crap this morning. Okay, so this is a carrier case by Wild One. I got this this morning at Petco. I just stocked up on anything that he might need. This thing was 125 bucks. He's gonna outgrow it too. A good thing is that it has like these little pockets on the side so I can kind of pack his stuff in here. When you fly with Delta with a dog, the dog counts as your carry-on. So because I'm packing for two people and I have to check my bag, now I have to make sure that I can carry all of his stuff. I got him this little food slash water bowl for the trip because he gets thirsty when he's in new situations. Hope to God I don't have to use this in the airport, but this is for any accidents that he better not have. Then we have the most important part of any trip with a dog treats. This is really similar to traveling with a toddler, honestly. This is a whole different bag of all kinds of assorted treats. And then he currently does have a, a leash that he usually wears, but I'm gonna bring his fun leash too. So for your dog to fly in cabin, they have to make sure that they fit underneath the seat in front. So that means that you have to figure out exactly what aircraft you're flying on and what the dimensions are underneath that seat. Also, $125 each way, so his ticket to New York costs more than mine. But I'm bringing him for a few reasons. Uh, the first reason is because uh, I am going to visit my little nephew who is a baby and he's not gonna remember me, but he might remember my dog. Hmm? I kind of want to live in his vague memories of like, oh, Ani Teresa, who has the dog. Second reason is because my dog Ludo recently died and I am traumatized. I am heartbroken that I lost that dog. And I spent like a week in New York when the dog was alive and uh, I, I wish that he was with me. I'm sad. My third very valid reason is because Eros is technically an emotional support dog. Delta doesn't... Delta doesn't recognize emotional support dogs anymore, so you have to pay for them, which is fine. We totally respect that. People were bringing peacocks on the plane. But it's not the plane that I'm worried about. It is when I get to New York and I'm in the same state as my dad. <laughs> Woo, yeah, uh, I live with some trauma about that. You can probably relate. So sometimes when I am traveling and I'm you know, close to my dad, who you know, I don't have the best relationship with, I start missing my dog and start, you know, wishing that I had some, you know, him there with me. So he's gonna come and comfort me and just help this be a better, more emotionally healthy trip. Let's go take a look at his outfit because he's really cute. Oh, look at you. So this is Eros's emotional support dog outfit. <laughs> he's so cute. Um, but he just has this so he can walk around the airport and I don't know not deal with too much questioning. I basically don't want him to just go to the airport in the container and be in it the whole way. You know, he has to be in the container while we are on the plane, but it's small and uncomfortable. So this cute little vest that he has helps him to be able to walk around without anyone being like, is that a service dog? Emotional support dogs are not technically service dogs. There is a difference. He's a good boy though, aren't you? Eros, what toy do you want to bring? We gotta pick out what toy. What about Lamb Chop? This is the right size. Anything else? What about something that you can chew on? I like that pig over there, but I don't think that my family will. It makes a loud oinking noise. Maybe a ball. And where's your cat ball, Eros? What'd you do with it? Da, 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 da. Usually under here. Hello. Oh, hello. Are you so excited to go to New York? Yeah. We gotta drug you soon. I got him some toys now. So something about Eros that's kind of funny is he's a thief. Um, he is very good at stealing things. He enjoys stealing things. So if you leave anything out, I will always find like one of my random belongings somewhere else in the house because he likes to steal my stuff. Did you just do it? Eros. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. What do you have? That is my concealer. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just got that on tape. You naughty boy. So I don't want you to go to my mom's house and steal all her stuff. No, that's not for you. Naughty little thief. So I called Delta and arranged this with them this morning and they were very accommodable. No, are you serious? Come on, come on, get out of here. Ugh. I knocked this over earlier, but I knocked that over earlier 
And now he uh, keeps stealing all the things that were in it. Oh my gosh, this is a mess. I'll clean it later, I guess. So I asked the airline, like, does he need paperwork? Does he need a health check? Anything like that? They said no, but I don't trust anyone. So I went to his veterinarian this morning and got all of his vaccine records. So he's cleared. If anyone tries to stop us, anyone tries to do anything, we got the papers. Look, I need to have my COVID vaccine stuff ready and available. So uh, he needs his stuff too. I also got him some extra eye medicine. He's got an eye condition. So uh, I got that to make sure that it lasts the whole time that we're in New York. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna go, uh, we're gonna ride up to the airport and then I'm gonna take him to Starbucks there cause that's his favorite place. And let's just, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, uh, I'm a little stressed, but I also think that he's a good boy and it's gonna be okay. But I'll take you on the trip and you can see what it's like to travel with a dog. So this bag is usually my tech bag. It has my laptop and stuff in it, but it's also now full of dog food. So <laughs> this guy is like, what is going on inside this bag? So all of this all has to go in here. He found something. Oh my gosh. Okay, buddy, let's go. Here we go. Goodbye, Watson. Watson. You're staying. So another reason that Watson's staying is because Watson doesn't like Eros. <laughs> we thought it would be a good little vacation from Eros for him. Another thing is that Eros and Watson, they like to fight a lot. So we wanted Sam to be able to have a little break from not having to worry about both of them at the same time. Oh, good boy. You get all that pee out before we go anywhere. I do have bags. I didn't get like wet wipes or something though. An accident happens, like a urinary accident happens. You know what I mean? I should have done that. Come on, get in the car. Good boy. Good boy. All right. So he has already uh, nervous pooped twice. So good thing we have clear. Let's see how this works. <laughs> He's so cute. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Eyes or fingers for you today? Eyes. Okay. Please center your eyes. He is nervous pooped twice already. Oh, no. So <laughs> I'm like, no, you're making me look bad. Thank you. We survived. Okay, so we had to go through the uh, electric, the metal detector instead of the frequency thing, but we are okay. Hey, time to go to Starbucks and see if they can get him a peppuccino. They're like famously rude at this Starbucks though, so we'll see if that is something they can do for us. So, this has been difficult being by myself, having to carry all of his stuff and then also carry all of my stuff. That's the hard part. And I'm not gonna be able to make it to the pet relief area before we get on this flight. So we just gotta hope and pray that this goes well. <sighs> Everyone's been really nice though, as I've been bringing him through security and everything. Everyone's been very helpful and I keep dropping stuff and people keep catching it for me. So really, really grateful. But right now I'm just letting him eat his puppuccino and then I'm gonna try and get him in here and see if we can get ready for this flight. Okay, I just said a lot of curse words trying to get him into this thing. But he's in there. So now, time to get him on this flight okay we made it but like this aisle is so tiny small that I have to wait for everyone else to get off the plane before I can get him off he hated that he had a terrible time I can feel how hot it is in there so now I gotta try and find him a pet relief area so he can get out of this and pee and we're not gonna worry about him peeing on the rest of the airport okay I've got him like on my hip kind of forward here and we're trying to get off there we go okay we gotta find a pet relief area this is my fault for bringing a 20 pound dog thank you, thank you. Okay. mind the gap hello Okay, thank you. So crazy about this pet relief area thing because that means I can take him out of his carrying case and I don't have to hold him anymore. This says there's a pet relief area. He is too heavy. 
Okay, where's the pet relief area? Okay, thank you. Are you exiting or you making a connection? Uh, I'm gonna exit. So it's easier yeah. you do the pet relief outside by the baggage. Okay. Straight down now. Yeah, okay. okay. Thank you. This way, sir, sir, sir. No pet relief area. It's easier just to leave. <laughs> oh my gosh. Arrows. Oh my gosh, you're so heavy. Okay, let's go. How fitting that in this dirty corner of New York, Eros would be free. Go free, Eros. Let your pee join every other New Yorker's pee. Oh, yes, be free. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know you probably have to pee so bad. I'm getting better at vlogging slowly. No. Oh, good boy. See, this is why I'm mad at Delta, because they won't let him just sit in my lap. And like, look at him, like, he will. He's a good boy. So I wish that he was allowed to sit in my lap instead of have to be underneath. This is why I brought him. So the good news is that Eros loves Autumn in Connecticut. He is having so much fun playing in the leaves. He doesn't get that out in Utah. Boy. He's practicing his touch trick out here and he's just been having a really good time running around being free. He doesn't get this experience back home. So it's, it's really cute to see that once we made that big trip, he's still having a good vacation. Hey, baby. <laughs> Hello. Good boy, good boy. Something else that's really cute is that this morning he got to meet the baby. Um, and Ronan's still a little scared, but he was really excited to meet the baby. He was all, you know, exploring him, sniffing him. So I think that so far, this is a success. Hey, Eris, you wanna get some water? Let's see, here he goes. So the good news is that we made it to Connecticut. It was probably on a scale of one to 10, a six on the pain in the ass level. It was definitely a pain to get him on the plane and I wouldn't recommend doing it by yourself. But me, Arrow, said my mom made it and we're gonna go enjoy a beautiful fall day in Connecticut. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.